Welcome to Pastime Tech. My name is Teddy and tonight we have something special. This is a Memorex Portavision 5 inch color TV model 16123. This unit was um, was uh, manufactured in August 1991 for Radio Shack. Radio Shack, remember those? Um, it was actually purchased in 1992. I have the original receipt here. Um, now this wasn't mine. I, I found this in the in the manual when I bought it at a garage sale. Um, in Allentown, Pennsylvania, uh, uh, June 24th, 1992. This person who I covered your name up paid uh, $264.95 for this. Um, interesting. Um, th this uh, the TV tuner no longer works, um, but it, it has it has um, a composite video input and a mono audio input. So. It can be used for something that um, something that's in demand nowadays. It can be used for gaming. Let me plug in my Atari flashback here and have you take a look. It's gonna come up in a second here. Oops. Oh, I have to push. I forgot. There's a button. There's a button in the back. There you go. You push that button, and that brings up the uh, the the it, it directs it to go to the video input. Excuse me. Okay, so let me select the game I want now. Let's see here. It's a uh, let's see. I did this wrong earlier. Oh, there we go. Now see, I picked the wrong game now. Um, let me go back. There we go. Yeah, you, you have to. I got the joystick off to the side. You got to aim it correctly, and that's what I keep failing to do. Okay, so asteroids. Look at that. Remember this game? Now, you talk about pastime tech right here. An Atari on a, an outdated television from 1992. All right, let me hit start. There we go. I don't remember this. I actually have played this recently on this TV. I played for like two hours. My wife had to come find me and was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm playing Atari. Um, yeah, so interesting, right? Maybe not. Oh wait, I stopped aiming it at the Atari flashback. It's like, it's like, I'm not doing the video for the Atari flashback, by the way. So, anyways, um, there we go, oh, UFO. Oh, okay, hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. There we go. Oh, I got them all. Excellent. All right. So, I think that's enough of that, though. Let's turn that off. All right, so... There you go. Um, now, I tried plugging in a VCR to this, and I thought, hey, you can watch VHS movies. Boy, was I wrong. It actually, um, it ends up activating the macrovision in the, um, in the, uh, in, in, the, in the tapes, and, and I'll show you that, too. That's interesting. I was like, whoa, wow, why isn't it playing this? All right, so I got my old VCR hooked up. I'm going to put in... Let's see, I'm gonna put in one of my favorite movies, Terminator 2. And it's already, it already, you just saw it. The Macrovision already came on. <laughs> it's like, it's like, wow, why is it doing that? Uh, I got the blue screen now, and then here we go. And then, yeah, you saw like a, a glimpse of it, but Look, that's actually, see, you can hear the audio, but, the but it's, um, it's, it's, it won't play the video. <laughs> it just won't play it. Look at it. There it is for a second. It comes on for a second, right? And then it's gonna go off again because that's just what it does. It's it's uh it, it's as if you remember when you used to connect two VCRs together back in the um back at back well back in the eighties and nineties, you know, because you wanted to copy the rental from Blockbuster, it starts behaving that way. Um actually I'm surprised it's playing as long as it is, so let me, let me fast forward a little bit and we'll see. I don't know uh, why it's playing now, it wasn't before. Or maybe I had something connected wrong. So perhaps you can watch these on here, but I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say in my description on eBay for this, for this, for this unit, or I'm not gonna guarantee that it will play VHS because as I said, it was, it was before it was, it was showing uh, the, the, the copy protection stuff on the screen, so. All right, let me hit stop on this. Let me take this off. And, let me, oops, I'll pull this out real quick here. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna shut this down now. Oop, wrong way. Okay, so, um, where were we? Okay, um, yeah, all right, let me, let me show you this unit a little bit further here. I'm gonna unplug it, and then I'm gonna do it quick. You know, here's the screen, obviously. On this side, we have all the, the television controls, you know, contrast, bright color, tint, 
nothing remarkable back here except the antenna, which, you know, fully works, except like I said, it's not gonna pick up any television signals now. Um, on this side, we have like the tuning dial, which you're not, you're not gonna need. And then here we have the, um, we have the inputs. Right here is where you, you switch it to video, the video input. And you got the composite video, the, 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 the mono audio. And you can put an earphone, earphones in there, and I guess another antenna. And these switches are actually, you know, you no longer really need these anymore. Like I said, it can't play the, uh, the, the, the stuff it used to. And um, this unit is in really excellent shape. Um, it's got this one mark right here. And that, that's about it. That's like the only thing that I, I've seen on it. That I mean, it's a, a little fading, a little typical wear, right? Um, but that's the only damage on it. It's like something melted on it or something like that. I no clue why. Um, you know, this is Florida, so who knows? Anyways, if you're interested in this unit, um, I have it available on my eBay store as of the time of this upload. Um, if you're watching this in the future, it may not be there. Um, the link is in the description below, so go to the description below and, you know, and you can purchase it. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's it. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, little trip down memory lane. It's this almost 30 years old now, this, 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 uh, this little TV. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, um, please like this video, comment, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Maybe you can explain why sometimes I got the macro vision, uh, the macro vision interference on here. And, and sometimes I got the picture because I'd like to know the answer to that actually. That's a little bit beyond my, uh, my knowledge. Um, uh, and it, it, if you're in the market for tech, which is past its time, and this is definitely a great example of, of tech that's past its time right here, um, please come back and see what I feature next. Have a great evening, folks.